Hi, and welcome to our top five STEM activities for babies and toddlers. We've even brought the baby along today. So starting us off at number five, we have bubbles. Here is our latest bubble machine. Pour the bubble solution in there, put it on the table, and it blows bubbles all over the room for us. Now, she likes it because she thinks the bubbles are pretty. Um, I like it because the bubbles are good for hand-eye coordination. So she's reaching out, trying to move to where the bubbles are, and trying to grab the bubbles. Now, if you have older kids, they may not want to play with this so much as a bubble wand. Um, and if you do that, what I would suggest is at the same time as buying that bubble wand, buy a giant thing of bubble solution, because the first thing they're going to do is kick the bubble solution out everywhere and then be upset. Moving on then to number four, we have The Stinky and Dirty Show. This is a show that's on Amazon Prime that my kids found when they were relatively young and they liked it because it has a garbage truck and a backhoe loader and they love anything with wheels. I like the show because in each episode, the two characters come up with a problem and they have to find a solution to it. And they brainstorm to find these solutions. So they ask each other, what if this, what if that? And they try out some of their different suggestions and they see which one works. I like this what if brainstorming engineering approach. And so we find that TV show really fun to watch. Moving on to number three, we have toolbox sets. So this is a construction kit that they got as present, I think when the oldest one turned one. So we've had it for four years now. And it's got all kinds of stuff in it. You can see one of the creations they've done recently, the four and the five year old, um, they've you know, screwed these in with the screwdriver. Uh, they've got things that you can hammer into different pieces and it's a robust little set. Now you might think this is baby and toddler. Why are we talking about it? If your four and five year old are doing it, um, the baby also likes it. So she uses it to pick things in and out of the toolbox and she likes to whack stuff with it. So this is good for all of the different age groups. And um, surprisingly, in a way, this has survived all three kids. Most toys only make it a few weeks. So the wooden one was a bit more expensive, but has been a lot more durable. Number two. What we have as number two is playing with household items. So this one here in particular likes something that people call treasure boxes, where we just get regular items from around the house. We stick them in a box and we let it go. So this is things like wooden spoons or pots, plastic bowls, plastic cups, uh, you know, your hairbrush, all these kinds of things. The kids absolutely love playing with them because they have seen you playing with them. And so they feel like they're big and grown up and it lets them explore their environment. So very good for feeling comfortable in their house, but also those motor skills of picking things up, feeling different textures, etc. And then finally, at number one, we have the magnet cubics. Now I've put these in a different container, but as you can see, there's lots of different shapes and colors and they snap together using magnets. So if I bring one up, you can see there's little magnets along the edges and the magnets and the two sides snap together to create all kinds of things. So at her age, she's more interested in picking them up and some of them make a little rattling noise, which she finds fun. Um, but the older kids put together 3D structures like cars and boats and spaceships and all kinds of fun things. So again, this is something that is good all the way from baby up to kids. So that has been our top five STEM activities for babies and toddlers. Hopefully you found that useful. And what I'd like is if you can put in the comments down below your suggestions, then we can think about adding them into the website also. Thank you for listening. Thank you for cooperating. And we'll see you next time when we'll be talking about STEM activities for primary school kids between the ages of 6 and 11. Thank you.